Sean Buckley, CRO of SpotX. How are you, Sean? I'm doing great, thank you. First time here in in Spot in, no, in, in Cannes Lions? Been here many times, but many times. I always enjoy it. Nice place here. I want to say uh, to ask you some things um, about SpotX. What are the trends you are seeing uh, in video monetization around the world at this moment? Can you explain us? Yeah, so certainly more broadly, the, the concept of automation, so the introduction of programmatic advertising into Video has been a huge trend. Uh, we've seen it unfold at varying speeds uh, in different markets around the world, um, but it's certainly an important trend uh, everywhere at this stage. Uh, and then also the changing consumption behavior of consumers, particularly in the TV ecosystem, so in the US market, we've seen a huge surge in OTT or over the top uh, delivery of content as consumers sort of cut the cord Uh, and change their uh, consumption behavior uh, around uh, TV. And so that's generated a huge new growth area of business for SpotX. Mm -hmm. um, and it's become a, a really material part of our business overall. Okay. Can you please talk us, uh, talk, uh, tell us something about what is SpotX? What are you doing at this moment? Sure. So if you look at the platform, uh, there are three major pillars in terms of what we do and how we operate. The first being ad serving for mm -hmm. publishers and broadcasters. This would be inventory management, campaign management, the ability to pace, cap, flight, and organize the inventory around how you want to monetize in the digital video ecosystem. The second major pillar is our programmatic infrastructure. So that's enabling publishers to sell and monetize their inventory programmatically uh, using automation and also the yield management around uh, managing multiple partners and buyers in that capacity. And the third and newest pillar of the business uh, is actually around data enablement. So allowing our customers to bring their first party data onboard the platform and use it for the purposes of ad sales and then also providing our customers with the verification partners and the measurement services that they need to operate their business. How is the business progressing at this moment? What has changed since you were acquired by the German RTL Group? Sure, so I mean RTL Group has been a great partner of ours. They first invested in the business, acquiring a 65% stake back in September of 2014, and then late last year actually acquired the remaining stake in the company. Uh, and there are a couple really important things I think that RTL Group has provided. Number one, they truly helped us expand across Europe. Obviously, they have a deep understanding of the European markets, and so that's been hugely helpful. Number two, they've given us a really strong blueprint of what a broadcaster is sort of going through in this changing media landscape to really help us understand how our technology really fits and can enable broadcasters to navigate this changing media landscape. And of course, they've allowed us to invest. So we recently announced the integration of SmartClip um, and we've continued to invest in new technology. So we're both building technology organically and also adding new features and functionality through investment and acquisition, mm -hmm. um, which has been really, really helpful uh, in terms of us evolving our offering for customers. So a very good deal for you, no? for your yeah, company. Yeah, great deal. Okay. What's the key focus for SpotX Global this year, and maybe 2019, next year? Uh, so I think the key for us is helping our customers navigate this complex and changing media landscape. There's no other focus for us, right? So our job is to ensure that our customers are positioned for success now into the future. And in many cases, that requires new and different technology than what they've needed in the past or up until this point. And so we're really focused on building and providing the modern video monetization platform for publishers and broadcasters around the world to ensure that they can continue to grow and be successful with their businesses, given how much is changing in the ecosystem. What is SpotX doing to help uh, protect user data? So this has been uh, a really important topic for us. And as I mentioned, uh, data enablement has uh, become a really important and key pillar of our business. And so we know that our customers on the platform side, they often have really valuable first party data that they'd like to bring to the table for the purposes of, of advertising. But many of those customers to date had been concerned about the concepts of data leakage, meaning if they bring, particularly into the programmatic landscape, if they bring their first party data, is it going to sort of get released, get let out of the bag, and then be used in ways that they hadn't originally intended, which is obviously both a big topic in our business and now a big topic more broadly in the industry. So we actually built a product suite called Audience Lock, 
which essentially provides a safe haven for our customers to onboard their first party data, use it for the purposes of ad transactions, including in the programmatic landscape, but it ensures that that data is not leaked or used for other purposes outside of the intention of that campaign or that deal. And this has been a really important topic and also a feature that a lot of our customers, um, that has, has drawn interest from a lot of our customers. And so we're really starting to see that take off as a new growth area for, for Spotify. Okay. Speak, let's let's uh, speak about the VOD, no? the video on demand market evolved in the, in the recent years. How, what can you say about this? Can you say about, about this? Yeah, so um, you know we can quantify the OTT market as a whole, and then mm -hmm. we can sort of break it down into different segments. So certainly, two of those key categories are VOD or on demand versus live. Um, you know, around the world, uh, a lot of the OTT business um, has been around uh, VOD, but in the U.S. market, we actually see a pretty solid mixture of both live and VOD, uh, particularly around live. Uh, there are a lot of additional changes and adjustments and features that we've had to build to ensure that our customers are able to monetize that effectively with buyers. And uh, where are the opportunities uh, for the marketers and publishers in this field? Where do you see them? Yeah, uh, clearly the OTT business is an amazing opportunity. It's a really a best of both worlds scenario. Um, you have the ability to, to do, to tell um, you know, a 15, a 30, or even a longer uh, second story um, to consumers on the big screen, uh, sight, sound, and motion. But the OTT market in particular provides additional levels of targetability, um, and in some cases measurement, that historically haven't been available in the traditional television world. And so we think that presents lots of opportunities for our customers, the, the publishers and media owners, and also for the advertisers that we help connect them with. And what do you think, uh, which are the main uh, challenges for publishers when adapting their, idea, their video monetization strategies uh, for this uh, ever-shifting digital market and, and consumers? Sure, so um, I'll talk a little bit about the transition from traditional direct sales into programmatic. Mm -hmm. And we've spent a lot of time building technology to really make that transition smoother. So um, it doesn't happen overnight. Uh, and so we're very focused on how can we integrate programmatic alongside traditional direct sales to ensure there's a sort of seamless process where our customers have lots of flexibility and capabilities in terms of how they manage those businesses together. Uh, sometimes there's, I think, a misnomer around programmatic. In our case, a lot of our customers are out selling those deals themselves. They're just transacting differently than they have in the past. And so we focus uh, really intently on providing that sort of seamless uh, ability to bring those two worlds together um, as the sort of media ecosystem evolves. And what is, what is, what do you think is very important to be here at Cannes Lions every year? So this is one of uh, the most important events for us every year. Mm -hmm. um, we think it draws uh, really a global crowd of senior executives. Um, I mean, our meeting schedules are always packed, uh, not to mention a lot of the content that's being presented and a lot of the events uh, present an awesome networking opportunity. So we're really happy to be here again at Can Lions, and it's certainly an event we wouldn't miss. How is it going in, in the Latin market? So, you know, up until this point, uh, the U.S. and Europe have obviously been the really big markets for SpotX, uh, but we've now really started to invest in our expansion in both Asia and Latin. These are two markets where we feel there's tremendous growth opportunity, and particularly for me, I uh, am now spending a lot more time in the Latin market, uh, Mexico, Brazil, Argentina, and Colombia, among others, are all really important growth markets for us. Super exciting uh, in terms of all the opportunity down there, and you'll be seeing and hearing a lot more from us, uh, specifically in the Latin market moving forward. Okay, so I think next year we will do this this interview in Espanol, no? Next year the interview will be in Spanish. Okay, thank you.